Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we are going to discuss and also explore the MX30100 sensor. We call it as the um, oximeter. So this is the idea of the project that we are going to discuss today. So we have here is RTC1302 and then we have the MX30100. It is for detecting the um, oxygen and also your heart rate. Okay, when I put my finger over here and then there are some uh, recording heart rate are going to be displayed on the LCD over there. And then we can also record the data inside our data logger. So this is a very useful, especially if you are going to monitor your frequent heart rate and also your SpO2. Uh, especially during this pandemic, a lot of people talking about the SpO2 level that may impair due to the uh, exposure to the COVID-19 uh, virus. So without further ado, let us discuss about how you want to interface with all this um, sensor and the setup and so on. So let's begin. Okay, before we begin the coding part of this project, let me just share with you, ladies and gentlemen, about how you can uh, firstly um, setting up the hardware of this project. So first of all, let us have a look into the diagram of this project so let me just open it for you okay so we have here a diagram showing to you about the MX30100 oximeter sensor okay so we have this uh, MX so this MX actually uh, already being supplied or equipped with four pin that we need to connect with so let me give you an idea so the first one the first important connections that you have to connect is actually your VIN or 5 volt from the Arduino so let me just zoom in a little bit okay so this is our um, MX30 so on the top right over here is VIN and then followed by the SCL, SDA and then you can see on the end over here we have the ground so the way that you want to connect is basically you just put the VIN to the 5 volt of Arduino SDA will be uh, attached at the A4 SEL at the A5 and then the ground will be attached to the ground of the Arduino so in the end um, your diagram should be look like something like this okay you are going to attach it to the 5 volt and also attach it to the ground and then attach the SEL and SDA to correspond to the A4 and A5 respectively okay for the DS 1302 RTC module you need to connect these three module uh, these three dot uh, CLK DAT and also RST or the clock and then data and also RST at the following pin so the first one the um, CLK or clock at the digital pin number 5 followed by the DAT data at the number 4 and then followed by the um, reset pin at the digital pin number 2 so if you look into the diagram over here we also got uh, three connection okay this one did not use the I square C but it's also can still be uh, using the RTC as one of the important uh, component to set the time and also the date effectively in your Arduino uh, kit and then we have here is LCD so the LCD as usual are being connected at the A4 and A5 Okay, you can see here SDA and SEL, the yellow and also the blue color uh, wire over there are being attached to this uh, two button over here or these two corresponding area. I'm going to use the Arduino Sensor Shield version 5 where I can uh, sort of simplifying all my connection where I have the A4 and A5 and also the I square C dedicated port over here that I attach it to my uh, MX30100 sensor and that another I square C I attach to the LCD so in the end we complete everything uh, except one more we are going to interface it with our um, SD card as you know the SD card need to be communicated with our Arduino using the SPI communication so let me just give you an idea how to communicate with the SPI communication so the first one the ground go to the ground the red wire over here are going to the 5 volt of your Arduino and then the CS, CS is the chip select so in this case I'm going to use the chip select number 10 
and then followed by the mozi mozi are going to be attached at the digital pin number 11 and then we have the uh, sck sck are going to be attached at the digital pin number 13 and then the miso are going to be attached at the digital pin number 12 so basically i'm going to utilize uh, all these uh, four digital pin and then followed by the ground and also the um, VCC pin of the Arduino so if you look have a look into the sensor shield the best thing about the sensor shield they give you the benefit of uh, minimizing the interface and then you can just use your um, male to male uh, female to female jumper wire over here and then connect uh, respectively so if you can see here we have the VCC followed by the ground and then the yellow one on the Arduino here is actually the mozi and then followed by the orange color over here is chip select digital pin number 10 and then followed by the red color over here is actually the SCK digital pin number 13 and then the last but not least is the MISO digital pin number 12 so that is uh, correspond to the connections of uh, this um, SD card module so please bear in mind that all the descriptions and also this uh, layout are going to be given in the descriptions of the video so please have a look and then download it as you wish all right um we also um want to have a look into the how we want to interface it using the arduino code so um i have the many um adjusted sketches over here and then the first one we need to initialize uh, our lcd followed by the wire because the wire need to interface with the i square c and then i include this something to do with the include virtual botix um, rt rtc.h this one is actually also available in the descriptions of the video inside the library we need to install this library and then uh, paste it inside your library folder um, of the arduino and then we also need another library for the mmax30100 uh, pulse oximeter and then we um, actually going to look into the coding part of it so the first one we initialize everything and then include the uh, constant integer at the chip select number 10 where we dedicated the cs button at the sd card at the number digital pin number 10 and then we uh, also call upon the virtual botix rt as a my rtc that you connected it already but remember that you need to set it up first using the um, rtc by makuna you can refer to the uh, descriptions uh, of the video for the um, how you want to set it up using the rtc 1302 in the previous video and then we are going to do some void on the bit detected followed by the void setup where we are actually uh, connecting with the serial board uh, and then call upon the lcd and then we are going to test whether the port is correspond to this particular um, sensor or not and then we are also going to uh, initialize our uh, sd card whether the sd card can be initialized and also um, started to operate as what we want and then followed by the void uh, pox status so this is the the heart of the operation where we are actually um, read the heart rate and then produced by uh, writing up pox dot get heart rate and then followed by the pox dot get spo2 and then followed by all this lcd write function uh, sorry lcd print functions where we write everything uh, on our string variable on the lcd part and then we are going to initialize the void loop where we are actually update the time and then we are also updating the pox status uh, pox is actually referred to the uh, pulse oximeter that we initialize it um, on the top of this um, code and then followed by the um, writing up the data file into our sd card so after you doing after you are finishing doing that then go to your tools as usual you, you need to connect to your arduino uh, uno first okay you can see over here you can go to the tools and then select your appropriate arduino board and then followed by the appropriate com port and then you can hit the upload button ladies and gentlemen done uploading over here as indicated in our arduino ide and then you can open your serial monitor and then please make sure that you are actually configuring it you're using your um, board rate and then you can see the um, sd card is already being initialized and then we can uh, just uh, have a look on testing it you can just put our finger over here and then the reading are going to be observed on our lcd and also on our on the serial monitor so you can see that uh, the spo2 are indicating more than 95 percent which is indicate a healthy um, lung functions and also the the good heart rate already being recorded by this um, max 300 and 
30 and 100 okay so if you want to reset it you can just reset it to net uh, to, to take another patient's uh, monitoring or if you want to reset it and also take another reading so that your reading much more clearer okay please remember that we need to do some sort of adjustment at our mx300 sensor where uh, i also attach the discussion link inside this video so that you can make some manipulation over here due to the fact that the mx30100 need some sort of modification you need to solder a uh, simple wire a um, little bit here and there so that it will function as what we want okay so let us see the demonstrations of this idea so let me just uh, reset it again and then we are going to do the initialization and then they are going to display the time and also the date over here and then also display our heart rate uh, followed by the also the spo2 reading so the spo2 reading are uh, uh, indicated in this video and then we can also uh, see the data inside our sd card over here it's already recording all of the details that already been captured from the uh, sensor so i think that is sum up um, about the idea how we want to monitor your spo2 level and also your heart rate using arduino uno together with um, multiple modules i really hope that you enjoy watching this video until then thank you for watching and please do consider like share and the most important thing subscribe so that we can uh, discuss and also uh, see the next future video so if you think that this project is okay and good and then you are having some troubles and you want to discuss with me uh, what kind of the project with regard to the biomedical uh, field you can also comment on the section um, comment sections of this video until then see you again guys thank you and bye bye